All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, we got some tackle uh, order from uh, Omnia Fishing. Uh, a little bit of a newer website uh, that I've been seeing. Uh, so I went ahead and checked out their page. Uh, turns out they actually had 20% off plastics and line. I am the one, the way your son don't need the uh, so I got one spool of line in here and a ton of plastics. Uh, pretty much just restocked for the year. Um, and then a couple of new baits that I want that I've been wanting to try. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this oh, they actually sent a card. Um, so it says, uh, this is a great box of new tackle. Uh, something, all the new, something, I, I can't read it. It says, thanks, Noah. So thank you to Noah over at Omnia for uh, packing this up for us and uh, writing us a little card. Without further ado, got, oh, got a uh, Omnia sticker right here, uh, free with their orders and stuff. So I'll, I don't know, maybe throw it on the boat or something or on my, all these tackle rail stickers, right over there. Yeah, got uh, first one, uh, 20 pounds on my assassin. Uh, this is the main design I use uh, for any heavier fluorocarbon application. This is probably the heaviest I go, is 20. Uh, normally I don't really like to play around with 25 or anything. I just feel like it's too hard to manage sometimes. Um, but this is what I'll use for like swim jigs and stuff. Um, if I'm fishing around a little bit heavier grass, sometimes I'll throw my chatterbait on this depending on what I'm fishing around if I need something thicker. Uh, otherwise like football jigs and stuff like that. Um, sometimes I'll throw on here depending on the water. Got six Mega Bass Dark Sleepers. Uh, three different colors and then two weights of each size. Uh, or two weights of each color. Uh, this is a bait I've been really wanting to try. Um, I personally think they look really cool and uh, would work really well on some of the lakes that I fish, especially tournaments this summer. Um, and you know, sometimes I'll throw like a football jig or like a finesse jig and stuff like that. I think this is kind of like a good alternative, especially for the profile that it gives. Uh, kind of that bait fish, goby type profile. Um, I'll actually, I'll open one of these up for you guys in a second. Because uh, this is my first time actually seeing them in person too. Uh, so I got three different colors. We have Donko, which is like, like almost like a dark green pumpkin, kind of black with gold on it. We got Wagasaki, which is a little more transparent and it's got, it's like a gold color with some gold flake, a little bit of orange and some purple on the belly. And then, what is this? Haze, so it's, this one's kind of like a blue gold color. Right here, a little bit of orange, a little bit of blue, and then some transparent. And then I got uh, a three eighths and a half ounce of all these. Um, I think I'm gonna open up this one right here, the haze color, just so you guys can see and so I can kind of check it out too. Um, this is, like I said, a bait I've been wanting to try for a while. Uh, so I picked a couple up. So it's a, uh, it's like a soft plastic swim bait. It's, you know, the body is, seems pretty durable. Uh, they're like a bit, it's kind of like a, like how they make uh, soft plastic swim baits, like the actual, you know, like what that come with the hook in it and stuff. Uh, so pretty much what I kind of took from it. So there's a jig head like up inside here, so like you can, you, know, you can kind of hear it. Um, and then so your line ties right here. And then the hook is actually between the little fins here. Uh, so it keeps it, you know, kind of weedless and stuff in there. Um, and then, you know, when the fish you know, gets it and then bites down on it, the hook will come out and hopefully hook them. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so, let's see. Kind of a smaller hook, kind of a smaller bait in general, but I feel like for smallmouth, this would definitely be a really good uh, alternative to throw on just either like a regular like Kitex swim bait or, uh, or like a jig. I think that because uh, with how the head is right there, you know, it'll kind of like s sit up on the bottom a little bit. Like I, said, I got a three eighth and a half ounce, so then I can kind of, you know, like with that half ounce, if I'm fishing like 15 plus feet, uh, that'll kind of stay down there pretty well. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's all for the Mega Bass Dark Sleepers. Next up, we got... 
the Big Bite Bait. Sorry, these. So these are the Big Bite Baits uh, Kamikaze Swim On, the 4.25. So, <clears throat> for those of you that haven't seen this before, so like you look down here and it kind of looks like a, like claws that you'd see maybe on like a like a cross style bait, um, but it's actually meant to be rigged up this way on like a, a chatter bait. And so if you look at it like this, you know those tails kind of look like uh, maybe like the, the tail of like a bluegill or something like that, any kind of bait fish. Uh, so it kind of gives gives a good like bait fish imitating profile. Um, something I've been you know. Still playing with, uh, you know, trailers and everything, kind of play with some stuff. Uh, have some variation in it at least, especially when you're fishing so many bodies of water. Um, yeah, I definitely think these will be a, a good trailer. Uh, these come in a six pack, and I, I think these come in a smaller size too. I think I just bought the 4.25 size. Uh, so we got that one right there is green pumpkin. Got three packs of green pumpkin. Um, three packs of black and blue and then three packs of pearl mm -hmm. next more from big light baits got some craw tubes this is probably one of my favorite dead action uh like flipping baits and punching baits um i'm not gonna open these up because you have to like tear these open um, but you can see kind of from here, it's got like a, like a tube head, so it's going to be hollow like any other tube. Um, and then it's got pretty much just like, just like strands on the bottom. Um, not a whole lot of action to them, but they go through cover really well uh, when rigged right. And uh, I got, let's see, got three packs of watermelon red. Yeah, three packs of watermelon red, two packs of black and blue. And then two packs of green pumpkin. Um, let's see. Berkeley flatworms got um, the 4.25 size of these. I got two in uh, black black smoke purple, so that's gonna be like a like a. It's pretty much just black with purple flake. Uh, and then got uh, two. Two green pumpkin, standard colors. And go to got brush hogs here. Uh, two packs of black sapphire. So that's like your kind of traditional black and blue. There's just a little bit more blue flake in there than you normally see, uh, which I don't mind, especially fishing some dirtier water. That little bit of extra blue and a little bit of extra flash can sometimes make the biggest difference. Uh, next we got. Uh, California 420 color of the brush hog. Um, this is probably my favorite all around plastic color. This or like just like a green pumpkin with red flake. Uh, so this has got one side that's a lot darker, so kind of black almost, and then the other side which is gonna be like your regular green pumpkin or watermelon. Um, and it's just got a ton of red flake in there as you guys can see. And that color right there is probably my favorite color between like regular green pumpkin or like watermelon red to black and blue this is probably this is like my middle placeholder for if i'm in water kind of in between next got the uh, some white uh zoom speed cross uh speed cross is probably one of my my favorite craw trailers um, that I use. Uh, this white one I specifically picked up for uh, white chatter baits, white swim jigs, and uh, once we get into the spawn here, fishing beds and stuff, that white color really helps out so you can kind of watch it while it's while it's on the bed and stuff and kind of watch and see if you get a bite instead of waiting you know, to feel the fish. Uh, sometimes uh, when those fish are on beds and they're kind of just picking baits up and spitting them, uh, you gotta watch really close because sometimes you don't feel the bite as much. So yeah, I got three packs of those. Next, we got some two packs of black and blue uh, Gary Yamamoto Cowboys. Uh, these are uh, like a creature bait alternative I use sometimes uh, if I need just something a little bit different. 
They're more like a, a really big grub, I guess. Like double tail grub. You can see right there. Uh, huge pinchers on them. Or huge kind of claws. And then just some, some legs on them right here. Um, these, you know, if I need a like a lot bigger profile on a jig, I'll throw maybe something like this on there. Um, or just like, a, you know, like a regular Texas rig. Uh, these work pretty good for. Next up, got some Yamamoto Senkos. Um, I already stocked up on most of my just regular Yamamoto Senkos. Uh, these are just two more packs I just grabbed in case. Um, uh, forgot to mention, all this stuff was 20% off, except the Dark Sleepers. The line and all the soft baits were 20% off on Omnia. Uh, if that's still up, I suggest you guys definitely go check that out. Uh, great chance to stock up for the year. Um, yeah, these ones right here are a green pumpkin purple copper. This one right here. Got two packs of those. Those are the five inch. And then I got four packs of six inch, two green pumpkin, two black and blue. So just a little bit bigger bait. Um, I'll throw these uh, on like a Texas rig. I'll flip these. Um, or if I want to throw a bigger uh, wacky rig, if I'm maybe fishing deeper water and need something that sinks faster with a little bit bigger profile. Um, or if I'm just looking for a big bite, but I still want to go kind of finesse, then I'll go something like this. Next up, we got... Uh, I ordered some flukes. Um, flukes are kind of a hit or miss bait for me every year. Um, I'll go every other year with fishing them and catching... Uh, normally I'll catch good numbers on them. Uh, come oversized. But, uh, and then I'll have other years where I can't, I don't really catch much on them. Um, I don't know if that's just, you know, me or the lakes I'm fishing or, or what. Um, but I got two packs of pearl white. Got two packs of green pumpkin. Two packs of watermelon red. And two packs of baby bass. Uh, this baby bass color is actually probably my favorite uh food color a lot of people go you know just watermelon just uh pearl this one i've seemed to get a lot of bites on um during the year um it, I, don't, I don't know what it is about it but this color absolutely catches them next up we got Six packs of the Exxon Lures Ned Zones. Uh, these are a, a, were a new bait for me last year that I tried out, um, and I was really happy with them. Uh, the durability isn't great on them. Um, they tear after a few fish, just like you know the Google Baits Rattling Ned or the the Robo Worm uh, Nedrig bait. Um, obviously, kind of with setting the standard at like Z Man the last tech. Um, obviously everything's gonna be kind of eh, but um, for the most part, the actual the color selections and the, the action of these has been great. Um, I got three packs of Smalley Magic, so this is gonna be this one has kind of like a transparent bottom. The top's gonna be like a watermelon with green and purple, and then this one's gonna be the perch color. It's gonna be like green with black fake on top and uh, orange on the bottom. Next, we got more from X Zone. Uh, these are the finesse slammers, uh, three and a quarter inch. Uh, these are a drop shot bait I tried last year and uh, pretty much fell in love with. Um, drop shotting for me was always, you know, drop shotting, Ned Rig, stuff like that, finesse stuff, other than we're on like a wacky rig or something like that, we're always kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, and within like last season and a little bit of the season before that, I started to get comfortable with them. Uh, the Nedrig's probably one of my... It, it, the Nedrig's definitely my favorite finesse presentation uh, to use. Uh, but the drop shot has seemed to be really effective on some lakes I fish. Um, so I got... So I got two of the bluegill color. Which is going to be uh, like a watermelon on the bottom. A little bit of like pearlescent blue on the top. And some purple flakes. 
two packs of the Big Limit, which is gonna be like a watermelon with black, purple, gold, and green flake, it looks like. Two packs of those. And then two packs of the Perch, which are similar to the, uh, the Ned Zones I just showed you. And then last but not least, we got a new bag for me this year, um, but something that's been very popular and hard to get. Um, originally I was looking on Omnia because Tackle Warehouse has been out of these for a while and uh, haven't seen them go back in stock. And fortunately they had them at Omnia. So these are from the Hog Farmers Bait Company. These are the Spunk Shad. So I got three packs of Pearl and three packs of Green Pumpkin Magic. So these kind of have like your regular like paddle tail swim bait body I'll, I'll take one out for you guys um but the tail is where it's actually really interesting so looking if you just look at the front part there it looks like like a regular kai tech paddle tail but when you get to the the tail it's this kind of straight tail with uh almost like bubbles at the end of it i'm guessing that's to kind of help it help it move back there um but this is supposed to be like a little more subtle presentation uh, where, you know, when you're fishing a chatterbait, you can just, this tail can just do a thing back here uh, without interrupting, like, the action that the, the chatterbait itself, itself gives off. Um, and they look really good. They've, I don't think they have a scent on it. It just smells like plastic, but uh, I'll throw some, some scent on there. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're a little spendy, but at six bucks a pack and you only get, I think, uh, that's not too bad. Seven baits. Um, but, we'll, you know, we'll see how the durability and stuff is uh, through the season. Uh, but just something else, uh, kind of like the Kamikaze Swim on that we talked about from Big Bite Baits. Uh, just variation. Uh, and that's kind of like a big thing um, where I fish with a lot of pressured lakes and stuff. Just having a little bit of variation uh, within your fishing and stuff can definitely make the biggest difference. So that's just a little tip for you guys as well. If there's something that you fish that's normally getting bit and the bite on it kind of dies down for a period of time, just make small adjustments. You know, those small adjustments can make the biggest difference. Um, and then, yeah, this is the green pumpkin color, the green pumpkin magic color. Yeah, this looks really good, actually. This is, uh, you know, just your standard green pumpkin, but it's got, like, silver, gold, purple flake in it. A little bit of red, too. And those should both definitely be killer on the back of a, a chatterbait. Also, I'm definitely excited to, to get into use this year. Um, so, this year, um, I guess schedule-wise, I got a lot of tournaments planned this summer. Um, and so, I definitely want to bring you guys uh, as many videos as I can wrap my head around putting out for you guys um, this summer. Um... So I, you know, I kind of want to get myself into a schedule and kind of stay consistent with it for you guys, just so, you know, whoever wants to can, you know, watch the tournaments I'm doing and see kind of how I do it. Um, just because I know me, I like watching tournament videos of, of other guys, you know, high school, college, pro stuff, just because there's stuff to take from all of it. Um, that's one thing about fishing that there's, you know, you never know everything. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any video suggestions, anything you guys want to see this summer, uh, drop it in the comments down below, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll see it and take a look at it and stuff and take it into consideration for the year. Uh, but other than that, um, hope you guys have a good one.